Hey everybody, welcome back to the farm. Today's gonna be the first video in a new series that we're working on. This is a 500 ski do. As of right now, our plans is to put this motor in an easy go golf cart. The drive system here looks a lot like the golf cart drive. I'm not thinking we're going to have too much trouble out of going from the torque converter here on the snowmobile to the golf cart. Let's go out there and look at that set up see what it looks like all right there's your torque converter on the golf cart i don't think the golf cart's gonna handle going from like nine or ten horse to 90 plus horse i think it's gonna tear the rear end up but we're making plans for that also I think the motor is going to fit. The only problem, the hardest part, I believe, is going to be the exhaust. Because look at the front of this motor. And you see, that's the like the firewall, so to say. Now let's go back in the building and look at how the exhaust comes off of the snowmobile. All right, we're back in here at the snowmobile. And remember I showed you, like, the firewall. And you see the muffler comes right off of the front. We're probably going to have to modify this tubing because don't, we don't have enough room to go out that far in front of the motor. It doesn't look like it anyway. We want to try to keep this exhaust because it's tuned for the motor. You see it's liquid cooled. There's your reservoir for your coolant I think it's going to be a fun project we're going to do a little bit more figuring before we actually go to cutting up something try to make sure that the plan is possible or that we don't think of a better plan before we get too far involved that there's no turning back Let's try to check the width of these belts. That belt is an inch and a quarter. Let's go check the golf cart belt. The golf cart belt is just a fuzz narrowed in an inch and a quarter. I don't see that being a problem though. Because we're probably going to run the snowmobile belt and it'll just set higher up out of the groove on the back so i think the belt's gonna be fine as long as the length of it's correct but y'all i got this thing running the other day and i actually took it right down the road and it's amazing at how fast this thing takes off you know and that's what's got me concerned about it tearing the rear end up on the easy go golf cart but we're also thinking about like a toyota pickup rear end that we can narrow up a lot to fit up under the golf cart so we don't so if it tears the easy go rear end up we would have another plan in the making before we even get to that step and not only do we have to get the motor in this big exhaust in we're gonna have to get the coolant bottle in and the system that works the oil for the injectors to mix it because it's two stroke we could eliminate the injector and mix the fuel possibly just another thought. I'm just looking around it, sharing my thoughts with y'all as I'm going. There's the brakes on it. Let's 
There's one of your motor mounts right there, the light's on. I'm just trying to figure out, there's the other motor mount right under that water outlet. I'm trying to figure out how this is going to fit and how we're going to make brackets to mount it in the golf cart. So if y'all have any suggestions or anything like that that you you see something or think of something let me know we appreciate all the comments and stuff that helps us out another item that we want to address is right there that's where your pull start is i'm anxious to get this motor out so i can see if there's teeth on the flywheel there's your pull handle if it has teeth on the flywheel I would love to go ahead and put an electric starter on this thing. What time we going? Just to make it for the ease of starting it when you're on the golf cart trying to ride it. If any of y'all have any experience with these snowmobiles, chime in and give us some suggestions. Like, I don't know how much of this electronical stuff we're going to have to keep. Because I don't see no reason for us to keep heated hand grips or whatever that one heats. I might would like to keep the tack working and possibly the speedometer that shows the mile an hour. And like your heat light and your oil light and stuff like that. But I don't know if what's entailed in this electrical system before we dive into it and figure it out. All right, guys and gals. I appreciate y'all watching. I think this is gonna be a pretty interesting project here. We're getting into, we're putting the snowmobile engine in the Easy Go golf cart. If you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe, ring the bell where you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. We'll see you on the next one.